Hey y'all. Nurse hair, don't care. <laughs> hospice hair, don't care. I need a hat that says hospice hair, don't care. I'm telling you, when you are out there working in the trenches, you're just not real worried about your hair. And these pieces aren't big enough or long enough to go back in my ponytail. We'll leave these off. How's everybody doing? Thanks for coming along on our uh, Kasori Air Fryer adventure last night. Love that thing. Um, I am working solo today. My sweet partner is sick, sick, sick. So I told her. She's like, I can't make it. I said, girl, don't. Don't come around me with all that. Don't you even think about it. Um, so I've been at it um, all morning and I'm starving. It's about 1 o'clock. And I went by Wendy's. And they have this North it's called Northwestern Cod Sandwich or something. And well, I just love it. So I didn't get any fries. Didn't do that. I wanted to, but I didn't. So, but I did add cheese to my fish sandwich. And I'm drinking my Yeti full of water. And then I got another large ice water. Look at this sandwich, y'all. It's got lettuce, tomato, cheese, and a big fat piece of cod on it. Let's give it a try. I have, I have had it, but it's been a while. Mm -hmm. I love fish. I love fish. Doesn't matter what kind. Cod, flounder, tilapia, catfish, swai. I don't care. As long as it's not shellfish. I love it. Salmon. Mm. Let's see how far we've walked today. I am so hungry. I'm so hungry, but I'm trying to do portion control, which is why I didn't get any fries. We're going to look on our handy dandy little work phone and um, see what our health looks like. 1.6 miles this morning I've walked, just working. Whereas, Although I stayed busy in property management, I didn't walk that much. I did a lot of, a lot of heavy lifting today. A lot. And I can feel it. Um... That kasori, tonight, I'm gonna go home and fry bacon up in it. Definitely gonna fry bacon up in it. And the biscuits turned out really good last night, but I think next time I'm gonna make, I'm gonna roll the dough out, you know, roll the bisquick out and do the, um, you know, with a glass and cut out circle biscuits. Um, they turned out really good, but they had a great flavor. They were like, um, I'm not going to say crunchy, but they were a little crunchy on the outside and then real moist on the inside. Delicious, but I need to make them bigger. Definitely need to make them bigger. The chicken came out great. When I start using it and I learn how to use it more, I'll get better at it. I'll definitely get better at it. But anyway, um, we had a lot of fun with that air fryer. <laughs> We're going to use it again tonight. I'm going to make bacon in it.
I've got some bacon in the fridge that needs to be cooked. Look at this red bud. You see it? Isn't that pretty? if you could see it or not, but it sure is pretty. So, how was everybody's weekend? We went and got Jenny Bella married off. Y'all remember Jenny? Got married, so she just sent me a text. Got her married on um, Saturday in the pouring rain. Bless her heart. Her whole wedding was supposed to be outside and um, got rained out, so the event had to be moved inside and it um, came together and it was a sweet ceremony and um, they were supposed to take off for their honeymoon to Panama City Beach Florida on Sunday yesterday and their flight got canceled so they did not get to fly out till this morning and I got a text message from her just a little bit ago and she's like we made it and it's a picture of the ocean and I'm 500 bajillion times jealous She's on the she's on the ocean right now. She's like, we're going to Panama City Beach for our honeymoon. I'm like, that's where me and Shane got married. Shane and I got married in Panama City Beach. Sweet ceremony. Got bare, got married barefooted on the beach. We just grabbed the kids and the mother in law and went and eloped. We didn't want a wedding. We were ready for a vacation. <laughs> when Shane and I got engaged, I said, I don't want a wedding. I don't want to plan anything. I don't want to walk down the aisle. I don't want any of that. I said, let's just run away. Let's just, he's like, yeah. Because we've both been married before. He's like, let's, let's take a vacation. And I'm like, yeah. So we were like, him and I were just going to go elope. And then we were like, no, we want the kids to be there. And then his mom wanted to go. And we we're like, we caravan down there. Freaking, we all just drove down to Panama City Beach, spent the week, got married on the beach. And we played and we got tan and ate great food and had more fun than we should have. And I wouldn't change a thing. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. got two more patients to see today. I was going to tell y'all something else I can't remember. I don't know. I highly recommend that fish sandwich. For the sandwich and a large ice water, it was $4.39. You know, you just can't, and you just can't beat a McDonald's fish filet, but this is just as good. It's just a different, it's just different. McDonald's filet fish has its own, has its own taste to it, you know? Nothing can compare to it. Mm. I know what I was going to tell y'all. I was getting so hungry, I felt like I was going to fall out. I was like, I've got to get food. I don't feel like when I get super hungry, I don't feel like I'm going to fall out. I shouldn't have said that, but I feel like my brain stops working. When I get real hungry, I can't think. It's like I am literally a car that's out of gas, and it affects my brain first. And then... Not, not even so much my energy, but my brain. But that's not what I was going to say. <laughs> what I was going to say is um, a friend of ours at the wedding last night, well, 
Yeah. A, a friend that I've known since I was a kid. He asked me, not last night, but... Hold on. Let me get my life together. At Jenny's wedding, a friend of ours on Saturday asked me if I was still running. I said, not really. <laughs> I said, I'm, I might get back into it. Um, I don't feel like running. You guys, I put out so much energy and so, so much. I work my muscles so much. And I move so much that when I get home, I'm not trying to run two or three miles. You remember how I'd go run on my lunch break when I was doing property management or I'd go run after work? That's because I did a lot of sitting. I mean, I stayed busy, but not like this. This is a different, this is a physical busy. So when I get home, Running is the last thing on my mind. So. Um, I don't, I just don't feel like it. I don't want to run this year. Is that crazy? At least right now. I'm thinking maybe when, I thought during daylight savings time and as soon as the clocks change, I'm going to be hitting the pavement and I'm going to be running. Uh-uh. Not since I changed jobs. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I am tired when I get home. <laughs> and when I get home, my routine usually, I come home, I change clothes, and I get busy. I come home, I feed the dogs, and I go change my clothes. And I get busy. I get busy cleaning up whatever mess is left in the kitchen. There's usually something. Um, I get busy doing laundry, doing chores. I'm up and down my staircase. I can't tell you how many times every evening. I'm up and down the stairs, up and down the stairs, up and down the stairs constantly. And in and out and I'm moving around. You see how I move around my house. I just move around my house constantly. And... Uh, That's a lot of exercise, five days a week, this job and that, and it's time, I've been uh, mowing, and it's time to start working in the garden. So, all that being said, uh, Mama's probably not going to run a whole lot this year. Mm -mm. I don't feel like it. And I hate that because I love running. Y'all know what running does to me. It makes me really happy. And I haven't ran in a while, so I don't know. I don't even know how to... I don't even know what my endurance would be like right now. I feel like I get a legit workout Monday through Friday. And I know that I am getting a workout. All that being said, I want to lose 10 pounds. Ideally, I'd like to lose 20, but I think I'd be too skinny then. I don't know, maybe not. I'm five foot three. I wouldn't want to be less than 120. Mm-mm. I don't want to lose any of my curve, you know? I'm telling you what, it doesn't fall off like it used to, that's for sure. It just absolutely does not come off like it used to. A 
oh well. <clears throat> you just got to age gracefully and try to keep yourself as healthy as you can. And don't worry about a haughty body. Just worry about being healthy and being able to move and being, you know, what was it? One day last week, <clears throat> we left one of our patients and um, we've lost her since. We lost her over the weekend, but that's what we do. We're in hospice. Um, and I just, you know, I leave out of here <clears throat> and I just try not to take my life for granted like I used to. You know, when you're around death all the time, you're just, you just become grateful for even being able to get up and take your own shower, even being able to feed yourself and put on your clothes and um, go outside to just even to be able to get up and go outside. Oh, don't ever take that for granted. And you know, I just, <clears throat> this morning I was like, good morning, God. I was like, hello, creator. Hello, creator. And thank you that I can move and breathe and take care of myself right now because there, there may come a day where I can't. I'm, I'm kind of, not kind of, I am hoping and praying that um, I just go strong like my 95-year-old neighbor, Cappy, who lives in that big two-story house by herself and takes care of herself. The only thing she can't do for herself is drive. Other than that, she does it all. It's amazing, and I, I pray for that. Um, anyway, yeah, just, you know, just focus on being grateful and, and not take it, you, just a, a breath without struggle. You don't ever stop and think about things like that. You don't think that I'm, because you breathe and you talk and your heart pounds and you don't even, you know, your body's functioning and you just go about life and I think we need to slow down and go, you know what, God, thank you. That I live and move and have my being in you. Thank you that I'm I'm healthy and I'm able. And I can even take a breath without struggle. Because I see people every day that can't even relax in taking a breath. And I know what it is to struggle to breathe with asthma. Um, but uh, anyway, practice gratuity, y'all. Just take a minute to stop and thank God that you can live and move and breathe and rest and work and walk and feel the breeze and go outside. All the little things that you don't think about when you're going about your day. So, thanks for having lunch with me. I love you guys. The Lord loves you more. He loves you so much. Stop and thank your creator today. Thank him for the little things. Okay, love y'all.